Hey friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll focus on Superbase database, which is a core feature of Superbase. We'll set up our database for the packet project, design and manage tables, write some queries and database functions, and learn about role level security. First things first, we'll head over to the Superbase official website, uh, which is superbase.com, and create a Superbase account, which you can do it over here. Sign up now. You can either use your GitHub account or create an email and password credentials. I already have an account, so I'll proceed to sign in. And I'm using my GitHub account, so proceed to sign in. This will direct us to the Superbase dashboard. And in here, we can create a new project for our tutorial. And let's call it, let's select our organization and call our project Packet, which is the name of our app. Let's generate a password or you can create your own. I'll just proceed to generate a password and copy it somewhere safe. Then we're going to, you can select the region. I'll just leave it as is and proceed to create new project. Let's wait for Superbase to set up our project by going through some few easy basics. So a database is a structured collection of data that is stored and accessed electronically in a computer system. So imagine a database as a digital version of a well-organized library where you can quickly find the information you need. And this information is what we call data. So here is a breakdown to help you understand it better. So for the basic concept, we have data, which is a raw information that you want to store. Examples will be names, addresses, phone numbers, and so on. Then second, we have the database management system, which we refer to as DBMS. Now this is a software that interacts with the user applications that we create and the database itself to capture and analyze data. For example, they will have MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQLite, Oracle, and the like. Now, rather than installing and interacting with PostgreSQL directly, which is a DBMS, Superbase helps with that. So Superbase being a backend as a service platform, it comes with a ready to use Postgres database and it, this has its own benefits. So it simplifies integration and accelerates development and it will allow us to also as developers to quickly create prototypes whenever we need to. So why would you want to use a database? So database store data in a structured way, making it easy to retrieve, update, and manage, okay? They also handle large amounts of data efficiently, allowing you to do a quick search and retrieval from your mobile app or web app. Databases also can control access to data, ensuring that only authorized users can see or modify it. And lastly, databases enforce rules to ensure data is accurate and consistent. So how do databases work? To understand how a database works, let's just use a simple analogy of a filing cabinet. So for a filing cabinet, we have drawers, which we'll consider as tables in database. Just like a filing cabinet has multiple drawers, a database has tables to store different types of information. So each table holds data about a specific topic. Let me give an example. So one table might store customer information and another table might store orders, for example. Another uh, part of the analogy is we have files in drawers. So these files represent the, the rows in databases. So inside each table, in a database, which we're referring to a drawer, data is stored in rows. So data is stored in files. Each row represents a single record. Let me give an example. So in a customer table, each row will represent one customer. Okay. Then lastly, we have columns, which in our analogy uh, of a filing cabinet, we'll have maybe fields or forms inside our files. So each row is divided into columns with each column storing a specific type of data. So initially we said we have a customer table which with where each row 
represents one customer. So in this row, of our, in this row uh, that represents our customer, we can have different columns in this row. For example, name of the customer, address of the customer, phone number of the customer, and also maybe email of the customer. So I hope that helps you understand on how databases work. So tables, we have tables, rows, and columns. So let me give a simple example. Let's say we have a customer database. Okay, we are running an online store and you want to keep track of your customers. You could set up a database like this. You could name your table as customer table, then have columns like customer ID that will uniquely identify each customer, the name, the address, the phone number, and the email. Then for our rows, we can have a, a, re, a unique records. For example, we can have the first row to have an ID of 001, name John Doe, with a specific address, phone number, and a specific email for John Doe. Then a second row, for example, with a custom ID of 002, with the name Jane Smith, and a specific address for Jane Smith, her phone number, and also her email address. So that's a basic understanding of how, what a, how a database looks like. So in databases, we have basic database operations, which we we'll always call them as crude operations. So we have create, which involves adding new records to the database. We have read, which involves retrieving data from the database. We have update, which is modifying existing records in the database. And lastly, we have delete, which is removing records from the database. So SQL is the language of databases. Most databases use SQL to manage and manipulate data. And let's just have a look at some of the, the basic SQL commands that we've already mentioned, which are the crude operations from, S, from Superbase. So Superbase has already set up the project for us. All we have to do now is Superbase provides two types of editors. There's a table editor, which we'll get to do uh, but now I just want to use the SQL editor to just show the syntax of SQL language. So I'll just click on SQL editor and let's just look at the three, the four commands. So we'll start with select, which we've said it's, a, it's all about retrieving data from the database. So how you write this language is you use a select command. Then you proceed to specify the columns that you want to select from a specific table. So we may want, based on our example that we use, we may need to select the name column and the email column. Then you specify from which table. So we're going to specify from, let's say for example, um, we have a table, the name of the table is customers. Sorry, customers something like that so that's how you write a select command or a select statement story this is called a statement good then next we have uh, insert which is adding a new record so to insert um, a record we use the insert uh, command then we want to insert into which table so you have to specify the table which will be customers and then you have to specify your columns so let's say we have a column like customer ID, name, and address. Then we have to specify the values that we want to insert in each of these columns. So we define values. And then in brackets, we define, we define the values of each column. So for customer ID, we may have like 0, 1. And then we may have a the reason why we're setting this in form of an integer is because we're presuming most cases a first column, which is the ID, is usually defined as a primary key, and the primary key is usually of type int. Or in PostgreSQL, Postgres we say int 8. So the next column, the value that we want to insert is a name. We can add the name like Alice Johnson. And lastly, we may have an address something like Pine Street, and there we have it. So that's how you create an insert statement. Next, we have an update.
eight statement which is modifying an existing data so let's presume we have inserted this take note that we are doing this on an sql editor we do not have any tables here we're not we haven't designed this um, table at all i'm just showcasing the syntax of uh, sql but let's presume we ran we ran this uh statement and we are able to insert alice into the table so let's try and update her information so we use the update command and we want to update which table customers and then we want to set uh the we want to set her name instead of alice alice johnson we just set to alice smith maybe so we need to specify the column we want to set which is name and give it the value that we want to set it to so it's alice smith and then lastly we want to specify where where means that we want to specify a column a column within a column called name with alice smith but we need to specify where in which specific record and that's where the primary key or the primary key column that is a primary key comes in you would specify in which specific record you want to change the name okay so we're going to use the custom id column to define which specific record we want the name to be changed i hope that makes sense so we specify the column as customer id is equals to 001 so we need like a specific column that never changes so that we can be able to uniquely identify a record and that's where this specific column comes in so this is how you write an update statement and lastly we have the delete statement which allows us to remove the data from the database so we'll use the delete command so we're deleting from which cast which table from the customers table and then we proceed to say where you have to specify which specific record you want to delete and we use as you can use a specific uh, column to do that and in our case we set this column as unique so we just proceed to define the customer id is equals to 001 so it will go head over to the customers table look for a record that has a custom id as 001 and delete it from that table so i hope you have a simple understanding of the four sql commands